Unfortunately, with going through all that, I actually uh, uh, corrupted one of my RAM sticks, so I had to take it out. Uh, so I'm going to have to replace that as well. But anyways, uh, so what I did was uh, uh, when all those fails, go to the manual. So that's what I did. I read the manual and I noticed one step in there, which is step five. I believe it's step five. Uh, it says for you to remove the previous device drivers you have in there before you install this new card. Uh, so of course what I did is I installed my old card back in there which was a GTX 960 um, <clears throat> and went into my computer of course uh, went into control panel which where I'm at right now uh, and after I went to control panel I went to device manager and to remove those drivers and whatnot just go ahead and go to the display settings uh, right click on your on your display uh, adapter I'm sorry, go to the display adapters, right click on display adapters and do uninstall device. Now what that does, it uh, uninstalls those device drivers or whatnot. Uh, don't worry, when you do this, it does not bring your computer down. Uh, it'll still stay on. Um, <clears throat> but just go ahead and click on that and right after you're done with that, all you have to do is just restart your computer. Uh, well, not restart, shut down your computer, install your new card, uh, and whatnot, and then start it back up, and voila, it should start working again. Uh, I took about it took me about three hours to figure that out. Uh, I was busting my head trying to figure that out, but uh, when I read the manual, I got it. I was e I was even tempted to go back to Best Buy and just return the card, uh, but it's good. It's all good. Uh, I want to thank you, and if you actually like this video, if you actually found it useful, please give me a like. Um, and I'll try to make more of these videos. And please leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.